Il transforme ça, il transforme tout de bon. This is 14 flags here. So you rent it. If you turn out a father come yourself, I think you pay rent. I mean, yes, we have our here asking for rent. So you collect the rent, it's not your own. So you are now a landlord. Landlord and landlady. Power! 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 I hand over. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Yes, yeah, tell us the thing. Look at them. Is have signed. So give me bail. Who are bail? Apostle Shibuzo is again in the news few weeks after his debacle and um, the controversy between him and the Happy Boys. The boys he helped and you know took you up from nigeria and sent overseas now again he is in the news for the wrong reasons and this video is actually going to deal on that he's in the news again uh the parents of deborah samuel allegedly have exposed apostle shibuzo now OPM is doing this humanitarian work because it wants to show off. I want people, I went to government technical college. My provision never lasted up to a week. I share it. I lived in Lagos, Omilade Street. No, but that, that's what I'm saying. There are people from Lagos that are here. There are people from can go and make inquiries. I lived in number 38, Omilade Street, Mafuluku by 7 and 8 bus stop opposite Aljawe State. When you are going to the airport, you stop at 7 and 8 bus stop by the right. You walk down as of Umila District, that 8. They call me Omoibo. The first I rented, I accommodated seven strangers. I don't know. They are not related to me in any way. I just saw them helpless. I was not a pastor. Then, I, was, I normally smoke, drink, and manage. So, you will not say, oh, I'm doing it because I was a pastor. No. It's, it flows naturally because... When I came to Lagos, I, people I expected to assist, to accommodate me, did not accommodate me. People, I don't want to mention, people I expected to accommodate, didn't accommodate me. Who accommodated me was a Yoruba stranger. When I was sleeping under the bridge, a Yoruba Muslim stranger that brought me into his house. We are more than 12 or so in the house, and we're all inside that room. So, if you come to, if you go and ask at um, that at Miller District, people I accommodated were Muslim, Christian, different tribes because different tribes accommodated me, so I have to do likewise. And that is what I did. People that I don't know were living with me. Now, when I went to the uh, 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 when I was selling MTM recharge card at um, 38 no, is it 68? Eh? Uh, I can't remember the, the number again. Where I said retouch card, I accommodated. This is something you can verify at a Chakricha bus stop by Ibology close. Ibology close. Chakricha bus stop. You will see, ask them, say, OPM, where was he staying before? Just ask them where OPM was, where he was selling empty and recharge card. They will show you. That place where I was doing that recharge card, I saw a husband and a wife, a pastor. I was not a pastor. I saw the husband and wife with three children and a housemaid. They were stranded. I brought them in, into the shop. I was not a pastor. I brought them into the shop and they were staying with me inside the shop where I was selling empty and recharge card. I'm going to call the name of the church so that those uh, Greater Love Assembly. I have not mentioned the name of the church before. I'm mentioning now. Greater Love Assembly by Kesiolu. If you go to Kesiolu Street, Atumumbu, go and ask him. Greater Love Assembly. The church is there. I can't remember the number. He was homeless. The landlord threw him, the wife and the children outside. I took him in and put him with the shop inside. So when people say, OPM is doing this because he, 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 has a, he, he opened a church so that people will think, oh, um, he, he bring members. These are life examples. This I did. I, I don't know how many people, I don't want to go into that. But now, the reason why, when I came in, I brought in people into my house. From there, I rented, 
I bought the first free estate and I accommodated people. I kept people in second estate, third estate, fourth estate. Currently, 18 estates, people are living without paying a cobble for rent. So I don't see a reason why I will be collecting estate I give to this wonderful family. Then I'll be asking them for the rent. If I need, if I really need rent, those 18 estates, people are living free without paying a cobble. I will go there and ask them for rent, which I will never do. I repeat, I will never do. If I didn't collect rent from a place where people are living, you see these people that are that they have so their daughter stood for Christ, stood for Christ and died, and I gave to him and I signed document and handed over to, to him. Then I will come and ask him, say, Where is the rent you collected? How can I do that? God will not forgive me if I try that. God in heaven will not forgive me if I ask them for the rent. I don't need the money. Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus. How are you doing? I hope that this video meets you well. A few days ago, I responded to a trading, trending uh, video that uh, a discussion online that had to do with the um, apostle of OPM Apostle Shibuzo, or the pastor, the general overseer of uh, Omega Power Ministry. You know, there are two different Omega. One is Omega Fire. The other one is Omega Power Ministry that is based in Port Harcourt. Omega Fire is that of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. So you don't mix it up. So it happens to be, you know, a kind of controversy between him and the ones that call themselves happy boys. Everybody was on the side of the boys and, you know, discussing it the way it was. But I, I came out and I gave my opinion. In case if you have not watched the video, you can do yourself good and... You know, you will see it here. Now, it wasn't quite too long. A blogger went to interview the parents of the slain student um, in Sokoto University, the late Deborah Samuel, whom this same pastor lifted from Sokoto to River State, Port Harcourt in River State, and then, as it was, gave them, you know, see, as I did my hand, that is in quotes, because there is now a huge controversy surrounding that. But if you want to find out the truth here, please, you need to listen to the video. You're going to watch the video. That's why the video is lengthy. I may have to you know, upload the whole video as it is, one hour, 30 something minutes. But this is a quote out from the video. Now, there was or there is an interview that was granted purportedly by the mother of Deborah Samuel that, you know, made nonsense of everything that opposed to Shibuzo you know, represented. And that was looming large. I saw it. I was taken aback. I got a link from someone who was contained in that blog alone was bad enough, damaging enough. A few clicks on the internet led me to the right information. Is To me, it's the right information to you. You may not see it as being right, but you've got to watch it to know, you know, in person, how and why I say it is the right information. So, welcome to the End Time Truth Television. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So, if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Now, let's go to this family. Now, let's go back to this wonderful family. Eh? When I heard about the death, listen, you know, so that we can, you can know some people that want to twist story. And we have to say the facts. When I got them the estate, you know, when I invited them to, like, to Port Harcourt, I went to the airport to pick them. When I picked them from the airport, listen, you know, we went straight, straight to the estate. The estate was empty. There is nobody in the estate. Considering what they have gone through, it will be wickedness to put them alone in the estate. There is no other tenant. So what do I have to do? I have to rent them a house. Then, rent out, when they begin to collect rent, when other tenants come into the estate, they can now move. So I only paid one year. I only paid one year. This is the reason I paid one year. I, I could have carried them and put in the estate. The estate was ready. If you watch on the screen, the estate was ready. I have signed it. I have given it to them. But they cannot live there alone. So I needed to put them somewhere so that they can have neighbors. So that is why I rented a place for one year. 
furnished it, everything. Because I told them, don't come with any load. I told them, don't come with any load. I will get you load. So they didn't come with any load from Niger State. So now, when the one year expires, it's for them to move into their estate. Then somebody went and interviewed them and said, uh, OPM said he gave them a house and they are, they are living in a rented house. Now, as I'm talking to you, they are inside their estate. They are living with their fellow tenants. They are together in, with their fellow tenants. I mean, they uh, are living with uh, neighbors. Yes, they are tenants. Because those people are tenants. And they are here. You ask them. The money, they have so far collected about 800000 from rent in that place. They've collected it in their account. They can provide your account. If you want the account, they can give you the account uh, uh, details so that you can see how the money was paid by the tenants. You can see how it was paid by the tenants. So I have never collected one naira. That was the reason why I rented that place. Number two, number two, the son is here. Um, this is the son, Matthew. Eh? He, he's here, he's going to tell you. Um, the reason why the car, after one year, started developing was he, he's here, he's going to tell you, he's going to confirm. Me. He learned how to drive with manual. He learned how to drive. So the son, you asked him, he saw his own mother, he told him, Papa, don't, you don't know how to drive this car because he didn't know how to press it. So the son used his own man. This is what the son confirmed. That he doesn't know how to drive it. That let him drive it. He said, no, he wants to drive it. Because I gave him that car. I want to use to do Uber. Either employ a driver to be doing Uber, or you can do the Uber yourself. But he chose to do it himself. So he couldn't do it. That was where the problem, the car started having issue. But right now, I've already instructed, uh, began to put his daughter. It's because of, he's here. You, all of you ask him all the questions. Because he himself confronted the father. Say, Baba, the way you are driving this thing, you, you will damage it or you don't know how to drive it. And he said, no, he continued. Now, the restaurant. I opened a restaurant. It's on her name. I bought a generator. I bought fridge, everything. She's here. She said, anytime she goes in, because this woman has gone through a lot. I don't know why some bloggers want to disturb this woman, disturb the peace of this woman. She said, anytime she enters that place, she remembers her daughter. And the thing affects her. That is why she brought somebody and said, she brought the person to me. I didn't uh, 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 introduce the person for the, to be helping her to sell. And she goes there. I wish the woman is here. But you answer. Answer, how many times does the woman come and do account? Does she come to the shop and the woman make account and give her the sales? She goes there as the owner of the place and the woman will give her money. She will go. Anytime she needs money, she goes there and the woman will make account for her. The woman happens to be a member of Omega Power Ministries. She was the one that brought the woman to my office. Now, they said, um, the son, I said I will send him to America. He's here. I never said I will send him. I said I will give, I'll give him scholarship, overseas scholarship. Ben Republic is overseas. It's outside Nigeria. But, you know, you don't blame him. He was thinking it's America. When I mentioned over. So, when he, he saw that it was a Benin Republic, he said, no, he doesn't want to go Benin. He wants to go um, abroad. I said, well, I don't have that money. Even the ones I gave scholarship, I've told them to come back and come and school in Benin Republic or school in Nigeria. So, I cannot finance America or Cyprus or Turkey because the resources cannot carry it now. So, I concentrate only on Nigeria. We have scholarship students in Unipo, Unitech, Unilag, Uni, or Uni, different places, which we sponsor. But sending brought somebody to America or this and now is not possible. If I'm to send anybody to America, is on on a on a condition that once you reach there, you're on your own. I cannot continue to take care of you. Rent in America or rent in Cyprus or rent in Turkey is what you pay for one month, is what you pay for one year in Nigeria. I cannot afford that. I cannot be paying friend of this. I cannot. So, your condition, if I'm sending you overseas, once you're like touch, because I remember how I tried. I wanted to follow Sahara Desert to travel. I've already made that name because I wanted to travel abroad. I wanted to follow Sahara Desert. But somebody showed me a clip of people dying in Sahara Desert. I cancel that one. Then I want to follow um, um, a, a, a river, Atlantic Ocean, to travel. So, but 
I remember that I don't know how to swim. I have a swimming pool in my house, but I've never, I don't use a swimming pool. I'm afraid of water. I employ somebody to come and teach me how to swim. The guy taught me two days. I tell him, go, take your money. I don't want to learn again <laughs> because I'm so scared of water. The first time I went to, to Bonnie, that was, that was the last time I went to Bonnie. I said, I will never go to this place. We have a branch there, but I need to go. Until the build road to Bonnie, then I'll go. So that was me. I wanted to go this way. I wanted to do that sacrifice. Now, now, if the restaurant is not moving, she collects money. The husband drives over. He collects rent. And so far, under one year, he has collected almost 800 and something. So, I don't know how the blogger will say they are suffering. Some You are not paying house rent. You receive 800,000. If you divide 800 in a month, how much is it? The children, all these ones are in OPM free school. Because we have 25 free schools. All of them, they are not paying school fees. The uniform are free. We have four different uniforms for each student. Four different uniforms. School bag, sandals, this free. Every Regularly, I call them. How are you doing? I give them rice. I give them provision. So that's I drive on my own. I go there, give them things, show them love. So how did I abandon this beautiful family? The son, this is the son. He lives with me in my house. He's living with me. He goes to the school from my house. This is the son. Why these other younger ones? They live with their parents. This one is married to this beautiful lady. I also got my house furnished. He's living in one of the opium free estates. Furnished with television and everything. So now, I don't, how do I is the abandonment? Is what I don't really understand. Then I saw a, a clip on um, about um, uh, Mr. Spell. For goodness sake, if you marry for somebody, the last time I did a wedding for, I sponsored 140 people on wedding. I sponsored them, paid their bride price, bought wedding suit, bought suit, pay, uh, did reception for them. Then after marrying for them, then when I'll go to the house to help them pregnant their wife. No, that is it now. I'll help them to, you marry for somebody, it is the person to pregnant his wife, not you. So if I open business for you and you cannot manage the business, how is that my fault? I cannot marry for you and help you to pregnant your wife. I cannot open business for you and help you to run the business. I don't run your business. I open business for you, for you to run your business. I sent you abroad for you to hustle. There are so many people I sent abroad. They have built houses. They have bought cars. So, I believe when I do this thing, I've already settled you. If I open shop for you, and I give you an estate where you are collecting rent, I don't know the monitoring again. Uh, please. <laughs> okay, human rights. Uh, do I need to come and know how you are selling in the shop? Or what are customers? I stock the shop. I gave you an estate. You don't need to pay rent again. Then you, 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 the, the tenant, you are collecting rent from tenant. I don't know what other abandonment. Now, what this man has said thus far, I don't know how you are viewing it. I don't know how you're seeing it. But I think that the problem here is that I suspect that somebody probably misinterpreted what the woman said because obviously they don't speak English. They don't, they're not good in English. They need interpreter to interpret this for them. As for granted interview, yes, the woman granted interview. Now, there are so many things that were pointed out in this video, but you need to watch, you know, to find out it in truth and in reality, whether the estate actually was given to them and allowed them to have oversight of that, as you saw in the video I played earlier, where well, this whole thing was given to them, the estate, a car for the man to do Uber, all the children that are going to school, free education. And one, as you probably may have known, is living with Apostle Shibuzo. All right. So now you've got to find out how and why they said Shibuzo or a landlord was asking them for rent. All right. So now I'm looking at it that there could be a manipulation. There could be a misinterpretation. There could be someone that is overzealous trying to find an excuse to tarnish the name of another pastor. Now, see, the fact that I have stood and I've been, you know, uh, in the middle and have always spoken out against the misnomer that some pastors do in their churches.
Now, that doesn't mean that when I see evil happening, or when I see people trying to tarnish the name of someone that is trying to do good, at least to help, that I shouldn't speak. Whether it's a pastor, whether it's an imam, whether it's a courtist, now, people must stand on the truth. Now, the fact that, you know, wickedness have been found living with so many pastors doesn't mean that when there is one that has done good, we shouldn't say he has done good. And when there is one that has done bad, we shouldn't say that this one has done bad. Now, the fact that I believe still in the church system does not mean that I, I, you know, I approve of everything that happens in the church. But that doesn't also take away the fact that there are some that have been planted by the devil in the church. So what is it that we are talking about here? Okay, my name is Oboka Omeda. I report for River State Television. Okay, my question goes to the Deborah's uh, parent. Oga, well done. Okay, can you confirm to us if you are actually staying in the estate that OPM donated to you? Confirm to us. We want the interpreter at this point to explain to them where there is. No. Can you speak? The question directed to them, you might go, you might use the native English so that they can pick you up. Yazunga Tambian Sushini. Yazunga Aining Estate Nino and Akbaka on the Papa Yabaka Shine Kikichi Yazunga. He is inside the estate. That Papa. That this is estate. It is inside inside for the estate. That estate for that you give me. It is there inside for house. In a chicken dinner that I did a bunny. It is a hacker. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Monica Ogwa. I work for Silver Bear Television and Redeem FM. My question also goes to Madam. Before this press briefing, what really caused it is the stories, are the stories we read online carried by bloggers and some online newspapers where they confirmed that she granted the interview, telling people that she's not comfortable here, is not how, what she thought she's seen here. We would like her to, maybe through her interpreter, tell us, did she really grant that interview? Did she really tell people that she's not comfortable and she's not seeing what she expected before coming to River State? We would like her to tell us that. Mama, you don't get to be a don't want to ask you what you're going to do. You don't want to ask you what you're going to do. You don't want to ask you what you're going to do. Kena kuke chama suwe suzu, yezunga mesu kete mbeni kishine yezunga, wake chama suwe bike njinda nsa wa nchi apota koko kuma abonde papa yechi, wese yima kikuma abonde kato bata wei zaki gani agerenga ba shiba niki kigani, wake gaski ani haka nini? Dadi ya yime kome fili, banga abinda dadi ya yime wonde ya bata la yuana ba, dadi ba yekana la yuana ya baji. Kwa nda niche zama batu nko magida. Don ziyara nda niche. Ba yimi ziyara niche akwe kriste mkua. Ba wewe ni abu ba. Dadi be yimi nko me baba. Dadi mabaye kawanara inaya bachi. Kwa ba gaski ya ba. Sakani na kuma da Allah. Don kwa wani abu nedu ya bata amire. Dazara ayin ma dadi magana. Naje uni dadi. Seka ke dadi ya damu. Kwa ya chile kudi ya bani. Ba kwa minda zama abu nga kwa ba yimi shi magana. Ba dadi ya chile kudi ya bani. Dadi ya chile shide baye kawanara ya gare ina abachi. Okay, what she's saying is this. She said all those things that those bloggers said, she didn't say that. And then she said, she, since she has been in Port Harcourt, that there is no day that daddy has ever allowed her to go through pain or go through anything. That even though she's going through pain or feeling anything, immediately she talks to daddy that everything is over. That since she came to Port Harcourt, everything that daddy said, daddy did all of them for her. So she's surprised to find out that an interview she had, that she granted, what the people were saying was different from what she told them. That the only thing that she was able to see that was bad was that she was surprised to think that the Christians within the state, she was thinking they were like the same people she have in the north. And in the sense that maybe you are not feeling fine, maybe something is disturbing you, maybe you see the church 
maybe a group of people from the church coming to greet you because that's the way they do it and they know that she doesn't see it here everybody is just like minding their own business apart from him nobody cares to check up on you nobody cares to know how you are doing so that's what she's saying talking about people not coming to pay them a visit and uh, you know that became a problem i think i want to understand why the woman and actually this was the only thing in the interview that the woman accepted that she said and actually that made me to believe her for her to accept this because to, to some of us this might also be very difficult to own up to you know which is uh, why i want to address it what i understand here is that she failed to understand that port harcourt is quite different from the village setting where they lived in niger state now it's also like somebody who is living in lagos or somebody who came from the village and came to stay in lagos and you're expecting you know that your brother will always come to visit you now when you are in the village your brother can come return home and we have all the time to visit you and smile and even spend a day or two with you we're coming to a commercial city honestly speaking a commercial city is a place where everybody is on his own it is not a place where you can always have visitors coming to check up on you even though that this is not supposed to be so in the church but the system of you know the community and the pressure on everybody in the country and i in around the, the you know uh, 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 the community i mean the town has not given anybody the the pleasure to do that everybody is working everybody goes to work everybody you know has to do something in order to survive and not so much people will have enough time to begin to visit you and if you ask me to if you ask me you have lived one year you know in this place and you're supposed not to actually expect that people will always come to visit you. That is not how it works. And somehow, sometimes, when you have listened to what Apostle Chibuza has said, you see that the problem here is lack of proper management, you know, of what has been given to them. I have a lot, to, a lot I could say in this video, but I don't want to say much, you know. It is, you know, inadequate management, improper management of assets, and probably lack of capacity to manage both the business and the house and whatever they have been given to them. There is nobody that has been set up like this that should complain, except the person has been programmed to fail in life. But I'm not blaming them because of their exposure, because of their capacity. That is why these things are happening. Boy, give me, give me, you know, a place to call my own, a place to, to call my own. I don't have to face the wahala of, when I say wahala, troubles of the landlord and landladies, and it's my own. Boy, you've done enough for me. You know, but here they have not just a place to stay that they call their own. They have the, the house, you know, to themselves, you know, and another business open for them, not in the rural place like it was alleged. It is said to be, on the, you know, in an open place where people could actually come. So the issue here is uh, not having a good understanding on how this thing works and the, uh, not having also the capacity to manage this asset. I just hope and believe that they will have proper counsel and to know and you know from 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 the place they came they're not business inclined probably they are i, I don't know you know the occupation maybe they were, were farmers in niger state before they came to this part of the world so you know there is an a, a place where people can do better so maybe the kind of business that apostle Chibuza have opened had opened for them is not the one that they can thrive in and so they're finding it difficult to you know, come to terms with this new environment and new kind of business that they have been introduced to. Um, I think I don't want to say too much on this. I give them an estate, which he confirmed. If they have, please, I want them to confirm, please, I want to ask, how much have they collected for this one year from as rent from that place? Can you just ask them? Wait, I, I want to, I'm getting somewhere. Ask them, how much have they collected that they collected themselves, that the cash, how much have they collected? We couldn't get out and no one that I could be out, couldn't get out. No one knew I could be out, Mutan and get out. She cut out on the Ucho and I could be out, couldn't get out. Couldn't even Bakuba, Akaba, we know any Akaba, Akaba, Kuchikakano. Eight hundred thousand forty thousand. Eight hundred and forty thousand was what they receive as household. Okay, thank you. At this point in time, you don't, we don't have any, any other doubts because even the man himself, the father of Deborah, Samuel, Mr. Samuel himself confirmed that he even attempted increasing rent for his tenants. Now, it's funny, anyway, uh, this, if we are to go by what, what has been told us, the, the tenants in that house have not lived up to one year, and the young guy, 
uh, the young old man is actually trying already to increase the rent apparently uh, 1 point uh, 4 million in calculation or 1.3 million because they are actually living in one of the flats it's not enough for him in one year so he wants to uh do a fast one on that well anyway i will i'll be leaving you here to you know have a feel of the video till the end let me know what you think uh, about the video and the whole thing if you have said anything or typed anything somewhere else please type something else here let's know what you think uh make a different comment here let's know what you think god bless you i'll be seeing you in the next video till then from me to you shalom i don't need to come and operate the restaurant i've established you give somebody just one room you have set up the person i'm talking about an estate fifth fifth is it 15 or 14 14 self contains you will be meant to suffer again each rent each rent is hundred thousand i think he just I, I, they told me he has increased the he has increased the rent to 130 <laughs> to them they were paying 100 i mean you, you don't increase them now wait come and talk he, he, Baba, the tenants we are paying hundred thousand he just increased it then i told me eh? Baba, Baba yechi, Okay. Huh? What did he said he wanted to increase the money, but they begged him in the compound that he should reduce it, so he didn't increase it anymore. <laughs> it is his property. He is free to increase it. Listen, now your own. Not be my own. If you want to, I'm 200,000. You can do it. And I tell him, said it is his property. If he wants to increase it to 200,000, he's free. Can I Anything. Baba yeti wey estate de na nakadi banashi bani. In kaga ndamo weza kakaro kudi kakaro kudi nakadi. She says how about you? But we nakadi. Can I do go? Uh huh. It's your own.